and we're going to look at Blood Desert and, and, and the works of this crazy pal, uh, Adam Yader, who just sent me, oh my gosh, so much stuff. Let's, we're going to look at his stuff first because there's so much of it. Now, he took my advice and sent me just like everything he's got, these hand-drawn sketch cards, okay? And oh, cool. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a few of the books I made this year. Blood Desert is my ongoing horror comic series. Keep talking comics. Adam Yader. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, huh? Love it. Now, there is something wrong with Adam's comics, and I mean that in the best way. <laughs> the best, the best way, Larry. I totally, it came through. There's something just not right with that guy, right? Dude, get, these yeah, are special. You. This is a special thing, yeah. man, because I didn't, I didn't know what to expect when I got it, and I looked at it, and I didn't expect much until I read it, and I, I, I just got such a kick out of this, I can't even tell you. Um, but he sent me, okay, first of all, I, I tried to save every little thing he sent, because every envelope was had a sticker hand-drawn by him, right? Yeah. And a nice little note, and a bunch of mini-comics in here, okay? He also sent his first graphic novel, one last day and man these are all oversized big magazine sized kind of i don't know jim woodring meets yeah. mats meets dude i don't know but this land of Knox. yeah you know call me comic and yeah call, call me crazy I, I see a little james coach kolchaka in that absolutely dude. yeah yeah i love that stuff you know i love mini comics i well, started so this guy yeah started with mini comics I, I mean this guy's all pure storytelling right mm -hmm. the, i can see he's working out his storytelling chops it's harder to see in this one there's no dialogue in any of these land of Knox nonks things that he did but there's undeniable storytelling action happening. Like there's a story happening going forward. But we're not going to talk about this one so much. <laughs> I just wanted to. Sh I just wanted to show him. Yeah, he's like got a song. body of work. You're you're showing the kids. He's not messing around. And these are really the colors I love. Yeah, this is it's fantastic. The production values are solid. This is the kind of thing you're going to see at a table at Ape, and you're going to yeah. be like, "Yeah, I'll buy some of yeah, these." Yeah, give me all I'm of that. Buy some. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I, and then check this one out. I love this one because it's a mini comic. And then inside it, there's another even minier comic. <laughs> That's great. Like built in. Can you tell how so it's little... printed? Is it is it just inkjet or is he? Because oh. that one, that mini comic looks like it's screen printed. Well, so these are mini com These look like they're screen printed. I can't. I, I think so. Yeah. Huh. Two color printing here um some of them might just be photocopies i, I it's hard to tell yeah. hard for me well, to the, tell but even even photocopies though printed. i just i'm just a giant fan of once you you've completed your story that you're actually making the physical books yourself too you're just not i i'm a giant fan of that we uh my first well, astronauts in trouble mini you know we went to the xerox place and made 2500 copies and bought a a long stapler so we could put them all together and we watched RoboCop <laughs> and stapled them all together. Right. Well, I mean that that tactile hands-on, you get the yeah. feeling, you get and I don't know, it helps you tell there's a difference between a well put together mini comic and one that's not. Like these are all trimmed and well done. This guy's got his act together production yeah. wise for sure. I agree. I agree hundred percent. I love these are like candy to me. The colors <laughs> and the beauty of them. I like I love them. I don't yeah. like them. I love them. Nice. But but now let's talk story. Let's look at his saga. Cause I can't, we can't, we could spend all day and review every one of these, but we're not gonna. Instead, we're gonna look at, oh man, Blood Desert. Okay. I wonder, I wonder is, how long this takes him. Do you, do you have an idea? Well, okay. So this is Blood Desert number seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the latest issue. This is Blood Desert, the trade paperback volume which is volume one through four, and it also came out this year. Yeah, so he's cranking. This could, this could be like he's trapped in the pandemic, you know what I mean? He's trapped yeah, yeah. inside, he's, he's yeah. taking advantage of that. I don't really know, but he's putting out stuff. And it would be easy for me to say, yeah, this is 
amateurish or something, but I'm not yeah. I'm not going to say that because I wouldn't. While the rendering is not um you know, the highest and most detailed, the storytelling chops this he's got him, dude. He's telling a great story. This is the story <laughs> of this dude, okay? okay. <laughs> and he goes to these kiosks. There's a kiosk out there that has drones that bring in his um, assignments to go assassinate people in the mutation zone. <laughs> and they, okay, and so he's traveling throughout. He's killing crazy animals. He's crazy killing mutants. He's he's going on these. But but look at this. Come on, Larry. No, this is excellent. I don't I don't think there's anything amateurish about this at all. Yeah, like it's not. It's I would I get what you're saying though, but amateurish yeah. is kind of loaded. I I would say yes. this is kind of kind of homespun. You know what I mean? I don't want to say crude, but no, I want to say it's yeah, it's, it, it's homespun. It's like he made his own shirt in the cabin at night. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah. his shirt looks like a comic book that's awesome. Look at that. You know who would love this? <laughs> My dude. my kid, my thirteen year old, would think oh, this dude, is the best would. thing he's ever seen. Those I'm last... sorry, but it is the best thing he's ever seen. <laughs> Those man. last two pages, man, that's awesome. Oh, dude, and it gets better. Uh, it, it, uh, it keeps getting better. This guy, so he's fighting crazy mutant birds. This is the first four issues. Come on, I mean, he's taking no prisoners. Yeah, yeah, no, I love it. I love it. He's sort of the mystery man with no name. Oh, but but wait, it gets better. So. In this, he gets in a giant fight. He loses his leg. He <laughs> Dang. Loses his middle, and he loses his middle finger, Larry. Well, that's just, that's awkward, because how do you flip people off now? Well, I'm glad you <laughs> asked, Larry, because not long later, he's, he's, he's helped out by a friendly mutant surgeon who gives him a new prosthetic foot. Okay, yeah. And a special... Uh, Spiked prosthetic middle finger. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Excellent. and this guy yeah. goes forth to wreak havoc in the mutant world. Nothing stops him. Nothing slows him down. And here in our last la latest issue, we actually find out his origin story. This is our pal now by issue seven. Nice it turns beard. out, yeah, it turns out what he is is a look at this. <laughs> I love it. Turns out he's one of many clones created by this corporation, and he's sort of a clone in Tunix, Arizona. And he was sort of like, this is great. He's like befriended by these bro types, <laughs> but who just decide to like kick him in the nuts on Jesus. YouTube. <laughs> and that's just, that's all it took. That's yeah. what it takes to drive him over the edge. Right, he's gone nuts now, yeah. So it reminds me a lot of The Freak, the book that we looked at by Matthew Lisniewski last remember. time. Yeah, yeah. It's got a lot of thim similar themes. Um, but man, this one is balls out. This is what we call outlaw comics. Yeah, I love that. I love it. Blood dead so, people. Are those uh are those stapled? Or, Dude, no, these no. Are like perfect yeah. bound. Yeah, I got the perfect bound. This yeah, looks well, like a print-on-demand job to me. There's nothing on the spine. Yeah, yeah. There's no indicia. There's no notes. There's just pages of pure art, but that almost makes it better. It's yeah, just I love like that. A pure... Yeah, you made a book, man. That's... Yeah. I'm not... And it's got this sort of textured... It's almost like a textured, like a vinyl textured hmm. type cover. I, I'm not really familiar with, but... I don't know. It's a different kind of production values, but I honestly cannot get enough of the color palette yeah no that's and, that's crazy good and the look and the feel i i, I freaking love this thing okay 